Good afternoon, everybody on YouTube. Uh, some announcement. I am getting some new Godzilla figures. As soon as I get here, I'll be doing a review. Two of them should be arriving on the 13th. The other one is coming all the way from Hong Kong, and it is a Bandai Ultimate Space Godzilla um, creation from Bandai where you have to put the figure, I believe, together. Um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to do it, but we'll see. Um, I also realized I actually have a Treadmasters or Treadmasters uh, or Dan. Uh, the sound on him works, but you know, probably not anymore because he hasn't been in use in like forever. Um, so now I pretty much just use him as a figure. Um, the other Godzilla that I had was made by Imperial, um, and I did see some figurines on eBay for pretty cheap, two of them at least, and I thought about getting them because those figures are pretty rare. Imperial no longer makes them, so if you can get them, they're pretty rare. Um, I did a size comparison, um, and how I did this is actually I have a big flat WWE Encyclopedia Wrestling book. And how I did this is all of my Godzillas are about six six inches. The ones that I just got, you know, including King Ghidorah. Um, the only one I didn't do a size comparison on is King Caesar. And he's a little bit harder to do because he won't stand up. But if I lift this up and bring this in so you guys can see a size comparison Rodan pretty much towers above everybody as in he he is taller than Millennium he's about the same size as Millennium Godzilla um, towers over 1954 almost towers over King Ghidorah but King Ghidorah's wingspan uh, pretty much towers over Rodan um, and towers over about the same size as 54, a little bit under Millennium, uh, but close enough. And that's the size comparison with Rodan in them all. He pretty much towers over everybody. Um, and anyway, uh, Rodan does roar, um, his wings flap, you know, so you get kind of like a flapping motion if you want. I wouldn't suggest moving the head around too much because that's where the wires are um, of course now there are some paint consistencies with how he's done <coughs> um, excuse me his legs do articulate I mean you can articulate legs um, he pretty much stands on his own with the tail being that long and the wings sort of help balance him um, but yeah he's about I actually would keep him because he's the classic Rodan. I'm not selling him. Um, and I thought what I would do, if I ever get a chance to, maybe I'll do some sort of kind of like, you know, uh, kind of like a small video of a stop motion thing. Um, the only problem with that is this camera on my laptop really doesn't, won't focus on anything down here unless I've you know, got something I can, you know, like a little miniature table I can kind of set up and pretend to have, um, you know, pretty much a, a, um, pretend fight on. But other than that, that pretty much is all my Godzilla figures. Um, and, and of course, like I said, he would pretty much tower over King Caesar. Um, the Space Godzilla is going to be interesting to figure out how I'm going to put that one together, but it should be fun. Um, and it's traveling all the way from Hong Kong. The other two came all the way from Arizona. Um, and, of course, the Gigan that I've got is a Fusion Gigan. So if you get it underneath the light, you know, real bright light bulb, it'll kind of be real tra translucent and glow. Um, the other one is the DECA 2014 Godzilla, so as soon as I get that, I'll be reviewing that. Um, should be fun, um, and my next thing will probably get some more Fusion, uh, get the Fusion, the rest of the Fusion series, 
because some of that looks really cool and I'd love to get my hands on the rest of that. Um, the other thing is getting some more uh, figurines to go with Godzilla like Angwers if I can find them for cheap. Um, you know, Mecha Godzilla is the other one, um, and Kiryu, you know, part of that whole Mecha G line, um, is going to be interesting to try and get. Um, so, that's pretty much my figures as it is right now. Um, but as you can tell, Rodan has pretty much, I've played with him, and it's kind of dusty right now because I haven't cleaned him off in ages, but, um, yeah, he, I played with him, and, and, uh, he, he is one of my favorite, I mean, you couldn't ask more, he's one of my favorite classic monsters, I mean, pretty much he took Godzilla and kind of just, you know, threw him off, you know, shoot, um, pretty much just kind of took him for a ride, you know, and Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, or I mean not Godzilla vs. King, God's, uh, King, uh, King Ghidorah, la la la, Ghidorah, the three-headed monster, um, pretty much he, he picked up Godzilla and kind of just took him for a small ride before he dumped him and, you know, and threw him, threw him down, but yeah, size comparison, he is pretty much taller than, um, taller than King Ghidorah here. Um, now King Ghidorah's wingspan is taller than Rodan, but, um, as I said, whoops, um, pretty much that, um, um, pretty much that, Trying to get this back to where I had it lined up originally, but anyway, pretty much that these guys, uh, the wingspan for King Ghidorah is larger than um, his wingspan, but his head is taller than King Ghidorah's head. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's just a different company. And the reason this guy is bigger is because he's got a sound box, whereas the Bandai figure doesn't, and you know, that's just. Um, way that is on that. So, you know, that's pretty much the only reason his he he is sized like that. Um now he is almost the same size as Millennium, you know, their heads pretty much um will touch. Like I had it sitting on here over on my big W D um hardcover book, these guys are almost pretty much the same size. Um, and, and like I said, Rodan um, pretty much will will stand on his own feet, and Godzilla will too, as long as, you know, you have him s situated correctly. Um, but yeah, the only thing that bothers me is they went and super glued the parts that you could, um, that you were you used to be able to move um like his this guy's tail you can't move it it's all pretty much been super glued into one piece you can't move it um he, for example king Ghidorah's head they there's there's holes here where it looks like he would be movable but they went and super glued those joints so that you can't move it um so his articulation only has two places, the wings and the tail. Um, heads, no, they did not give us articulation for the heads, which sucks. Uh, Bandai stopped super gluing creatures' heads, okay? If they've got, if they've got a little thing here that looks like it's movable, stop super gluing them. People are getting pissed at that. I personally prefer the old way where everything was movable. Like when Imperial did uh, the 19, I guess it was 1975 Godzilla or something like that. All of his parts were movable. 
His his legs from up to here was movable. Everything was movable. The only thing that wasn't movable were hand, you know, wrist action. His feet was movable. His tail was movable. You know, of course, his head wasn't movable, but he had almost the same articulation as this guy here. Okay, his up and shoulder. This here, the tail was movable. Okay, and and I mean, right where it joined at the at the back end was movable. Okay, not not right here, but up here, right where they super glued it, so you can't move it. Is right where Imperial made sure that that was movable. So quit gluing it like that because people can't, if they want to do stop motion, they can't move all these parts. These parts won't move. Um, so you guys need to go back and redo your formula here because I'm of the old school where all the vinyl parts should be movable. They shouldn't um, be super glued. They should be movable. And because if I give a rating, some of these figures are only going to end up with half a star here because uh, of the fact that you limited some of the articulation in your figures, which could be more uh, movable in my estimation. Um, that's why people have been buying those monster arts because there's more movable parts and things like that. Um, I mean, I love Bandai to death, but you guys are kind of screwing around. Um, I'm hoping NECA, the American company that's making Godzilla, won't, you know, won't do that. But, um, I still haven't, I still got to get their 84 figure, and I think I'm going to wait and get a different 84 figure. Um, because I don't like the one that they showed. I think it's kind of derpy looking. And I kind of agree with the other person that did a review on that. It was kind of derpy looking. Um, yeah, as for King Ghidorah, he should have had more movable parts. I understand, you know, it's supposed to be a replica. I can't even move him down. He's supposed to be able to move him at the waist. Uh, they super glued that, so you can't even do that. You can't even twist him around. Um... Like I said, his head should be movable. Um, right where they super glued the movement balls that would make him movable, um, they pretty much super glued that. So you cannot move him as much as I would like. Um, the wings can be moved somewhat to kind of give you kind of a, you know, like you're flying if you if you really want to do it that way. Um, you know, so I mean, you could do it like that, and then. You could kind of adjust the wings a little bit when he lands, and then kind of do like this if you know if you really want him to uh, pretty much to uh, just lay the the wind down on the monsters, you know. Um, but pretty much his parts, his wings are pretty much a selling feature because he can be movable with his wings, but um, other than that. Um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess with him too much. Um, Rodan is a little bit better because where he's got the wing joints, I mean, he's a big plastic figure. Um, he will stand up on his own. Um, his detail is very good. Part of the paint job on mine is, um, um, pretty much, you know, starting to fade out on the back. But, um, you know, he, he was good enough. Um, like I said, he don't, I don't have anything in him, so his battery, what battery was in there is now probably completely dead. Um, and I need to unscrew that, but I don't have a screwdriver to do anything with. Um, pretty much, you know, he's seen better days. He's got scratched up a couple of times and he's been played with and and in uh you know he's one of the figures that I've managed to keep you know when I was little um so he he's pretty much been my mainstay um you know um uh, 
the detail work, like I said, on him is great. Um, I just wish they had, you know, done more with uh, with his figure. Um, kind of reminds me of Fire Rodan in a way, but he's not quite as red as Fire Rodan. Um, but you know, he's the kind of the class. He's the classic Rodan, and if anything, he'd be the figure I, I'd use against uh, my uh, Godzilla figures if I was to ever do a stop motion, just because of the shading on this guy and because he's so durable. Um, and he's hard plastic, so, you know, he'll take a few knocks and he won't <laughs> end up getting hurt. But my figures pretty much are just going to be display. Uh, I don't know that I'll be doing any stop motion stuff with them. I might if I ever get brave enough to do it or, you know, find a spot I can clear off and, 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 and do it. It just depends. I've got a lot of stuff to do, so it really just kind of depends on how I do it. Um, like I said, these guys, the artwork that's been done on them is amazing. Um, I, I couldn't ask for more. Bandai did a superb job on, on the artwork on the Godzilla figurines. Bringing them back to life, you know, after what, you know, 60 years or more? 70 or 60 years? I guess it's been 60 now, but, um, he was around since I was level. I mean, 1954, 1984, the year I was born, um, Godzilla has seen and done a lot, I can, I can tell you that for sure. Um, now as for, as for all of my, all of my monsters there, um, pretty much, you know, if I get a chance, we'll be doing, we'll be doing some, uh, monster fighting or something. Um, I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that because <laughs> the only way I could pretty much do it is if I set the laptop up somewhere and then had built up a kind of a flat, really flat platform, um, that this camera could record. Um, or set up a different, you know, a different thing to record that, but we'll see. Um, we'll see what we can, what I can do, what I can make do with. Um, pretty much that's it, guys. Um, I just wanted to do, you know, a comparison on Rodan, and I've done that, and, um, yeah, the only one I didn't do a comparison on was King Caesar, and that's because the guy doesn't stand up. But, um. Everybody else pretty much can stand up on their own. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to buy another Rodan figure since I already have the one. I'm pretty much, the Fire Rodan is just an upgraded version of, of classic Rodan. So, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to get another Rodan. Um, what I would like to get is the Mecha G version. Um and the Kiryu version and the old Mecha G, the 74 Mecha G. But we'll see, because that's, you know, like I said, it's going to take time and money. To